Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to class. Uh, today we're going to talk about a very special part of the plant called the leaf. And I want to start this lesson by asking you, how do plants eat? Okay, because they're alive. I'm going to tell you what, they have to have some kind of food. So how do you eat? You, know, you typically put things in your mouth and you chew it, right? There's a couple different ways that people can eat, but that's that's the main way, isn't there? Is you put things in your mouth and you chew it. Uh, well, plants can't do that. If you think about Venus flytraps, I guess they can get a fly and they can eat that. But not many plants are like that, are they? So that's what we're going to talk about today. The leaf is the food factory of the plant. So there's a lot going on on this chart, isn't there? So we're going to break it down. The first thing you want to see is down here. Here we see these two looking elevator things. So we're going to start with this lightly blue one here. This, there's water carried up through this little elevator to the leaf. And the leaf takes this water. And if you can see here, there's two blue dots and a red dot, okay? There's two hydrogens and one oxygen in a water molecule. So the leaf with the power of the sun takes the oxygen and the hydrogens apart. It puts the hydrogens over here in this bowl and the oxygen it just tosses right out. It doesn't want it. Then up here, we can see through the leaf is coming a gas called carbon dioxide. I want you to breathe out. When you breathe out, you're breathing carbon dioxide out. So the leaf takes in that carbon dioxide and it mixes it together with the hydrogens from the water. It mixes it together into this kind of stew that you see over here. And then the leaf kind of works as like a little oven with the power of the sun. It cooks the plant food. They go, the mixture goes into the oven and out comes these little cells of food for the plant. And then down this other elevator, the food is taken to the rest of the plant. Now, are there actual little teeny tiny green beings and plants doing all this that look like this? No, this is just to give you the idea of how it works, okay? So again, water comes up, the leaf with the help of the sun separates the hydrogen and the oxygen molecules, throws out the oxygen, takes those hydrogen and mixes it with carbon dioxide that the leaf brings in from the air. Mixes it into a dough Dough goes into, you can think of the sun as the heat from an oven, and from the heat and energy from the sun, it kicks out food and it goes down to the rest of the plant. Here I have some beautiful leaves. These are just, it's a pot that I have in my house. I love these plants. These plants are great because they're really easy to root. I think we'll do that sometime. But anyway, here we have some beautiful leaves. And I want to go over the parts of the leaves here. So you see this kind of like green fleshy part of the leaf here? That's called the lamina or the blade. And here, especially, you can kind of see them on this side, but especially when I flip them over, do you see that kind of, right here, the kind of bumpy part? You can see right here, there's lines on the back of these leaves. These lines are called veins. Kind of like the veins in your body that carry blood around. These veins can carry the water and the food around. And down here, this part is called the petiole. The petiole is the part of the leaf that turns the blades towards the sun. So these blades will actually move around like this to get as much sun as it can. Now it doesn't go this fast. It kind of dances towards the sun. You can see here, this is a new little leaf starting to come up. I'm gonna hold you up to it. It's gonna unroll into a new leaf. You can see this one is still working on it. It's just starting to open. Whoa, close up leaves. Look, you can really, we get nice and close to this. Look at those veins, aren't those beautiful? I think there's something so 
beautiful about plants. Just look how gorgeous that is. Can you imagine coloring that in with a colored pencil? World's tiniest colored pencil, but oh, they're just so beautiful. So I went on a couple nature walks and I took some videos of leaves and I wanna go ahead and look at that with you now. So I thought I would come out again and do some filming of different leaves. So this is my front garden. This is my street. And I live in the city. And then this is down the street. It's a very pretty street, lots of pretty leaves. I thought we'd start in my garden. So this is my garden. I have a chicken that guards the house. He makes me happy. I like chickens. Now this here, this is also a hydrangea. But this is called, I think it's called an oak leaf hydrangea. And see, it kind of looks, it has this great shape, doesn't it? Those strong veins. So when you see a leaf like this, it has tons and tons of veins going all over the place. There's a special name for that kind of vein. It's called a reticulate vein. Okay, so a lot of the, the leaves we see are reticulate. And I'm like, here we can look at this, this brown leaf. He's kind of, he's seen better days, right? But look, you see all those veins? You see all those veins coming out? This is a reticulate veined leaf. And then we have the other kind of vein. So we have our reticulate veins. Then we have our other kind of vein. We look at this here. Yeah, turn them over. See that main vein there? But they all run parallel to one another. They run side by side. These are called parallel veins. Okay, parallel veins. This is my Lenten rose bush. And the Lenten rose actually, it stays nice and green all winter long. So I get these beautiful, beautiful leaves and it has these really cool, like, almost like dark purple black flowers. There's another one over there. So these flowers, or I'm sorry, these leaves have lots of beautiful color in them, don't they? And they got like this jaggy edge around the outside. When we look at the back, do you see all those lines? Remember how we talked in the video about the veins? So we have the veins, you have the lamina, which is the green fleshy part, the veins, and then the petioles that turn the leaves towards the sun. So you see how these guys are like reaching up? It's because they're trying to get as much sunlight as they can. We have this kind where you have one main vein, we call that the main rib going up, and then a whole bunch of little veins coming off of it. It's kind of like a feather. We call these veins pinnately reticulate. Pinnate comes from an old Greek word that means feather, like this, okay? So these are pinnately reticulate. Here I have a little hosta, this guy's a little dude. You can see he too is pinnately reticulate. Got one main vein going up the back and then all the little veins coming off that one main vein. I have a couple hostas. I have this one, it's kind of like dark green and light green. And then I have, this kind back here that instead of the light green it's a dark green and a white Isn't that beautiful and i have my monstrous pasta he's so just coming up now this dude is super cool it gets absolutely huge look at that giant giant things coming out of the ground i mean it's gonna take up probably that whole space around it it's massive. So the next leaf, I have a couple really interesting shaped leaves. This plant here, this is called a, uh, a columbine. It has these really cool flowers. We'll pop across the street to my neighbor, Tammy. She has some flowers that are getting ready to come out, but look at that beautiful shape, this little flower. Now, when we look at the back, we can see more than one main rib, can't we? see three big ribs coming out of one spot. Kind of like your hand, all the fingers come out of one spot. So we call these 
palmately reticulate. Palmately, hear the word palm, kind of like your fingers. Palmately reticulate. I'm gonna take a look at my neighbor's hydrangea bush. These are beautiful because their veins are red. So this is a great example of a pinnately reticulate vein system. You can really see it because the, the veins are red. Now this is a great leaf shape. This is from a dandelion. It kind of looks like a saw, doesn't it? And this is a pinnately reticulate. See, so it has the one main vein. Again, that's called the main rib. And then it has all the little side veins coming off of it. Here we can see another parallel vein leaf. So we're going to walk over to my, my neighbor Tammy's house. She's one cool lady. We're going to look down my street. Miss Tammy has been working on her garden for years. And it's absolutely beautiful. We can come down here and we can take a look at, at some of these columbine flowers. Okay, so here's a columbine, just like the one I have across the street. Just a little further along, you can actually see one of its flowers. They have the craziest flowers ever. This is a great parallel veined leaf. They're kind of hard to see, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, this is a good one. I think this is just a weed. This one's really beautiful, though. Look at those side veins. This is a great... This is also a weed, but it has a great little leaf shape. Right here. Oh, it blew away. See, look at these leaves. Isn't that great? I mean, here's a great big combine. Look at the size of that leaf. This is a, again, palmately reticulate. See how they're all coming out from the one spot in the center? This is a beautiful leaf. That red vein. It's another palmately reticulate. Here you can see, this Tammy has a fern. It's a little hard to see, but they kind of spiral out. She also has some really pretty ferns back there. But, oh, look at the tulip. Look at that beautiful tulip. Yeah, that's Miss Tammy's garden. She's kind of a hero. She's got some really fantastic plants. Look at a beautiful um, Japanese oak. Lovely. Okay, let's venture back across the street. So this is this is my house. You can see my garden. My little house. Oh, there goes a squirrel. Whoa. We caught some epic stuff. Super exciting. Oh, and you know what? There was another leaf in my garden I wanted to show you. Okay, let's look at this leaf called Corabelle's. This little guy is super cool. This is a Corabel. Definitely palmately reticulate. Look at all those veins coming out of that one spot. It's kind of like this purple, green, brown leaf. Look at the new baby leaves. They're like bright purple. Oh, that's really cool. They have a great shape too, don't they? It's a fantastic shape. And then I have a little teeny tiny um, Corabel heel here. That's kind of a different shape to it. It's not quite as pointy. You can still see that palmately reticulate vein system in there. And here is a parallel veined leaf. Here's some beautiful wild violets. See a pretty purple flower? There. That really cool shape of leaf. Oh man, look at this dandelion. We gotta rip that guy out of here. Gonna turn into. Oh, that's my neighbor dog. Hi, neighbor dog. Here you can really see some wild violets. 
Oh, I just think they're so pretty. I love them. They are technically a weed, and I don't care. I won't get rid of them. I think they are so charming. And one more leaf. Look at this leaf. Look at those crazy veins, palmately reticulate. That is wild. It's like a little cup. Look at these. These are gorgeous. Look at that shape. Palmately reticulate again. What do you do? That's great. I don't know what these are. It's a weed. Okay. While we're out of here, guys, tell the puppy bye bye. Do you see him? There he is. He's unsure. He's a good boy.